Sunshine in the Kitchen. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today I have a delicious shrimp scampi on the menu. What you're going to be needing is some shrimp. I have two different kinds. They're both frozen. This is a small bag. I was using this shrimp for a recipe before and I have some left over, so I want to make sure I go ahead and use it all up. And this is a medium shrimp bag. These ones still have the tail on, but I'm fine with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix both. Okay, so I have some asparagus here. I had already washed them. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these into bite-sized pieces for my shrimp scampi pasta. And usually for this, I just like to do little diagonal slithers, so I'll cut it up into three parts usually, just like so. And I'll just move those to the side and I'll repeat the process. That way they're easy to pick up with a fork and they're not too long or too big. So right here I just have a prepared ice bath. It's just a bowl with some cold water and some ice cubes. I'm going to be adding all of my cut asparagus to a pot of really hot boiling water. I'm going to blanch them and what that means is I'm going to add them to a pot of boiling water and let them cook for about three minutes. Then I'm going to pull them out just when they're barely tender and if you let them just sit on a plate they're going to continue to cook because they were just in really hot water. So what you want to do is you want to shock them and give them an ice bath. You're going to pull them from the hot water and quickly dump them right into your ice bath and that's going to stop the cooking process and keep them nice and crispy. Okay, so to make sure your asparagus is done, you're just gonna get a fork, and if you can barely stick your fork through it, then they're ready. Remember, we're gonna continue cooking them in the sauce, so you barely want them cooked. Now I'm just gonna pull them from the hot water and add them right into my ice bath. Alrighty, so what I have right here is a medium large shallot. I like the shallots a little bit more than the onions for this recipe because they're a little bit more mild and a little bit sweeter. So I'm just going to be using about half of this. So I just peeled off my shallot and I'm going to cut it right in half. That way it's a little bit easier for me to work with when I cut it. And I'm just going to do thin slithers but not too, too paper thin because they'll burn easily. Just slightly thin. Slices are gonna look just like so. Alrighty, so to my pan, I'm gonna be adding about a tablespoon of olive oil. I have my flame on a very low heat. I'm gonna add my shallots right to the pan. And I'm gonna let my shallots cook in here for about three minutes. I'm just gonna let them break down a little bit. Okay, so it's been about three minutes, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more olive oil to the pan. I'm also going to be adding a tablespoon of butter. And I'm gonna be using about three cloves of minced garlic. Let this cook for another three minutes. Okay, to the pan I'm gonna be adding about a teaspoon of salt some fresh ground up black pepper and about a teaspoon of red crushed chili flakes. Start off with a little bit. You could add more later if you feel like you need it after you taste it, but it's better to start with a little and add more later than start with a lot and then your whole dish is ruined. I have now cranked the heat up to a low medium heat instead of just a low heat. And to the tomatoes, I'm going to be adding some lemon zest just to brighten up the flavor. Alrighty, and to deglaze the pan, I'm going to be using a good splash of some white wine. And 
and then we're just going to scrape off any bits stuck to the bottom. And this is going to help create that nice sauce. And to that sauce, I'm going to be adding also a generous splash of some chicken stock. You could also use vegetable stock. And we're just going to leave this on low and allow it to thicken up a little bit. Sauce, I'm going to be adding some fresh basil that I picked from my garden. Now I'm just going to take this off the heat and I'm going to work on my shrimp. Okay, so to my pan, I'm going to be adding some olive oil. Move that around a little bit. Now I'm going to add all my shrimp to the pan. It's all been thawed out already. And we're just going to cook these shrimp for a total cook time of about four or five minutes. Because remember, since they were frozen, they are already pre-cooked. So I'm just kind of heating them up a little bit and just kind of cooking the skin a little bit more. Okay, and to my shrimp, I'm going to be adding some lemon zest. Of course, we love lemon in this house. Plus, it complements the dish so well. Alrighty, and to the sauce, I'm going to be adding all of my shrimp. And I'm going to have this cook on a very low heat while the pasta finishes cooking. Alrighty, so I just drained out all the hot water for my pasta. I'm going to drizzle in just a little bit more olive oil. Just a tad. I'm going to stir that around. Okay, I'm now going to add all of my asparagus back into my shrimp scampi. Stir that up just a little bit. I'm going to add a generous squeeze of some lemon juice. Okay, and right before presentation, you're just going to get a lemon and you're going to add a little bit more lemon zest on top. And it looks beautiful. And it wouldn't be pasta if I didn't top it off with some fresh Parmesan cheese. Just going to give that a nice little grate right on top. And dinner is served.